Department of Dental Surgery is as old as All India Institute of Medical Sciences. However, the new Center for Dental Education and Research was established in 2008 and since inception, the motto of the department is to provide patient care of the highest order, conduct nationally relevant research and provide excellent postgraduate education. In uh, education, the department runs postgraduate courses in various disciplines of dentistry and also offers PhD programs. In patient care, the center keeps abreast of all the newer developments in science and technology in the field of dentistry and attempts to provide the tertiary care of the highest order as well as it reaches out and provides primary care to the masses and also innovates newer technology. For example, the center has recently innovated a new root canal treatment where the stem cells of the body are utilized for regeneration of the mineralized tissue at the root apex instead of depending on artificial root canal obturating material. This technology is known as seal bio and it is patented by Australian patent office. The department has been conducting clinical work in regenerative endodontics since 2005 and it has started with treatment of immature non-vital teeth which is called as revascularization and gradually moved on for more sophisticated technique of using platelet rich plasma, platelet rich fibrin and now the new technology of seal bio for permanent mature teeth. In oral and maxillofacial surgery, the department provides advanced treatment for maxillofacial trauma, various tumors, cysts of the jaws and orthognathic surgery, temporomandibular joint etc. And the department is the first in the country to provide bilateral total temporomandibular joint prosthesis. In prosthodontic rehabilitation for replacing missing teeth, for complete denture cases and partial denture cases, department has been active. In fact, now the department provides implant supported processes not only to restore the missing teeth but also the defective parts of the face and the jaws. After cancer surgery, when large portions of the face are removed, the department provides excellent maxillofacial prosthodontic services. The center has been providing outreach activities and the Ministry of Health and the WHO has recognized our center uh, recently as the WHO Collaborating Center and the National Center of Excellence for implementation of National Oral Health Care Program. And under this, both the programs, we are conducting a lot of outreach activities to create awareness regarding oral diseases, its prevention, health promotion and prevention of all the uh, habits which cause damage to the oral tissues like tobacco chewing, smoking and excessive alcohol use. And this is recognized and the department is very, very active in this area. The vision of the Center for Dental Education and Research at AIMS is to develop uh, training center for advanced training in maxillofacial trauma care, for providing maxillofacial prosthetic rehabilitation to needy patients, also to develop the center as an advanced center for cleft lip palate, palate and other maxillofacial deformities of the jaws and uh, develop regenerative treatment for endodontic and periodontal cases and overall improve the over, uh, oral health, general health and the quality of life of all the patients including the geriatric patient and the special need patients. The Department of Pediatric Dentistry at the center provides care to children up to the age of 14 years. The department has pioneered the technique of using lasers in children which is a very painless technique for soft tissue surgeries and also provides aesthetic rehabilitation and takes care of the early childhood caries and takes part in all the preventive 
approach so that in adulthood the impact of dental diseases is the department of endodontics practices a very minimally invasive surgical technique called surgical fenestration it is a very low cost effective treatment for managing large pathologies at the root apices without completely removing the lesion this surgery provides diagnosis as well as it proves to be therapeutic because very good results are obtained and we have been doing these cases since 1995